Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'm going to cover how you would configure your I.O. cards virtually and convert your ladder diagram into a program in your project. This method can be used if you do not have the physical I.O. hardware. So let's say you want to save your configuration settings and send them to another colleague or engineer who has the physical hardware. They would be able to use those same settings in their project and apply those settings to their physical I.O. if they have the same setup. They would do this by simply switching from stop to run mode on their physical PLC, and then it will automatically load those IO configuration settings. So in order for your customer or engineer to load the configuration settings that you sent them, they would need to have the same physical IO cards set up. So if you configured two analog input cards virtually, they would need to have those same two analog input cards set up in order to load those configuration settings. Now they could add another IO card down the line. They would just need to configure that themselves in their project. But initially when they load the program that they receive from you, they will need to make sure they have that same setup in front of them. And then not only can you use this to send to a customer, engineer, or fellow colleague, you can also use this virtual IO configuration for yourself if you do not have the physical hardware in front of you. So to configure your IO modules virtually, you can either double click reserved IO or click this button here, which is IO reservation. So click this. And here is the virtual window for configuring your IO modules. So this is the PLC that you're using. In order to configure your IO modules, you'll have to right click and click base setting. If you had the physical IO module in front of you, the physical hardware in front of you, it would detect automatically. But considering we are doing this virtually, we need to select 12 slot base. This allows you to add that many IO modules here. So we'll hit OK. Now I'm not going to add that many IO modules here. I'll just add two of them. And in order to do that, you can either right click and do insert module. And then you would add it here on this list, or you can go over to the right and drag it over to the slot. So I'm going to add this analog input module, drag it over, and then I'm going to add a analog output module. So I'll grab this, drag it over. Now we'll need to configure this IO module. So you want to double click on it and enable channel one and we'll do four to 20 milliamps and we'll do channel two as well. And we'll make this zero to five volts, hit okay. And then that'll be it for this one. Then hit save. Okay, close. Now the analog output module. We'll enable channel one, enable output, hit okay. And we'll do channel two and we'll hit okay and then save. Okay, close. Now at this point you have configured your IO module. Now next you can do the ladder diagram convert. So click ladder diagram conversion here. Do you want to convert the save special card settings to a ladder diagram program? Yes, so we wanna hit okay and you'll name it. Now you'll need to enter something that's 12 characters or less here and no special characters and no spaces. So I'll just do LD test. Now we are creating that program with that ladder diagram conversion. So I'll just put this as ID one and it's a scan program, hit okay. So the benefit of having this set up virtually and then saving those settings and sending to somebody else the benefit of that is so they do not need to configure it themselves. They can just plug in their PLC and their IO modules, load this program that you set up or someone else set up, and it will automatically load those configuration settings onto that PLC and IO card. When they switch from stop to run mode, it will load those settings. Open up program, keep in mind that this conversion should only be used for configuring your IO. It should not be used for getting real values from your analog input output card. This is only used to configure the IO. So this is giving you a blueprint of the configuration. This should only be used to send to somebody else that has the physical IO card, and then they can take these configuration settings 
and load them onto the physical I.O. card so they would create another program to get the real values from the analog input output card. Now to see how to do that, you can visit the how to read the analog input from a zero to 10 volt and four to 20 milliamp pressure sensor tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. That will show you how to configure your IO and get real values from an analog input IO card. This is all I'll be covering today. To get more information, you can visit the how to configure your IO modules virtually and convert your ladder diagram tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.